So throughout the development of the Rally Fighter chassis, we've had the question a few times of uh, why we chose the certain uh, style of chassis construction that we did. So I wanted to take a few minutes to just highlight the three main types of chassis designs that you'll see out there and the one that we chose and why. So the three uh, most typical uh, types of chassis you'll see are the ladder frame, the space frame, and a monocoque chassis, where the ladder frame is the simplest of the two. It's pretty much a 2D structure, uh, pretty self-explanatory. Just like a ladder, it has two longitudinal uh, tubes running the, up, the, up and down the vehicle with tubes in between to support them laterally. It uh, doesn't really offer a lot of rigidity, very simple design. Things like trucks and SUVs still use it, but it doesn't offer a lot of rigidity and crash protection, things like that. The space frame is um, a little bit of a departure from the ladder frame where it's a 3D structure. So it has tubes in any direction, X, Y, and Z, versus the 2D, X, and Y direction on the uh, ladder frame construction. And the monocoque chassis is probably the most prevalent, which you'll see out there, and that's basically a stamp steel body uh, which has uh, rigidity built into it, crumple zones built into it, and it doubles as the defining shape of the car as well as um, the chassis um, because it offers some rigidity as well. So we chose the space frame construction because of the ability to uh, have that 3D matrix of tubes and have rigidity uh, in all directions, be able to resist forces and twisting moments um, from acceleration, braking, and uh, cornering. Uh, being that this vehicle is going to be uh, a performance vehicle on the street as well as off-road on the rally racing in the, in the American Southwest. So as you can see, like I said, it's a pretty complex matrix of 3D tubes. So versus the, the monocoque uh, chassis design, which is simple in its um, manufacturing process where it's basically a process of stamping the body uh, and sending it down the line, um, it's very complex, a little difficult to make, but in terms of cost, it's much uh, less uh, expensive to produce because the tooling to make it, like with the dies and with the tools to press the bodies, um, it's, not, it's not as uh, expensive, it's not as much equipment to be able to produce these chassis. So as you can see here, we've got a matrix of a few different types of tubes, diameters and sizes, um, which allows us the ability to use uh, those certain tubes and diameters for different things like being able to mate panels to them, uh, crash structure uh, like the roll cage which as you can see isn't quite complete yet um, and be able to do that in the space that we need and to be able to do it uh, in an efficient manner. Um, so again lightweight is the, the name of the game that allows us to stay lightweight versus a stamp steel body and it gives us the rigidity that a ladder frame wouldn't offer.